Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This morning I have Maya with me and she's gonna assist in showing you guys how I make some cauliflower pancakes for her in the mornings. I do have two different recipes. Yeah, hi. She wanted to say hi. <laughs> I have two different recipes. Um, one that I use to bake for her, it just has a couple more ingredients, um, has a little bit of carbs in there for her, um, just so there's a little bit more nutrition and has substance. And then the other recipe is, oh, funny, she wants to come out. Okay, come on, come on. Oh. All right, there we go. You wanna be star of the show, huh? All right, and the other recipe is just super quick, um, two ingredients, and it's the one that I make if me and Daddy are gonna be eating some. So I'm gonna run you through the ingredients for both of them. I think it would be uh, better and a little bit more organized if I do one at a time. So I think I'm gonna do um, the first one that requires a little bit more ingredients um, and has carbs in it. So let's go. All right, so we have our main ingredient, which is cauliflower. Um, I took a whole head of cauliflower and I ran it through my blender to get it nice and shredded and piecey here. Um, and then I also added uh, black pepper, a little bit of pink salt and oregano. You can season it however you like. I just thought these seasonings went really well with the ingredients. Um, um, that I have here. This one goes really well with cauliflower. Uh, and this is actually half a head since I am going to be making two separate recipes here for you guys. So this is just half a head. And then I already went and steamed some sweet potatoes, which she actually already munched on a little bit this morning. Um, I did that so that they're like pretty mushy because um, when I add that in there, I'm going to like be meshing it up and it's really going to help hold everything together. Um, and then I have some eggs. So so we're probably gonna just crack two eggs um, for this one. And then I have a, I think this is two cups of mozzarella cheese, uh, shredded mozzarella cheese. So I did recently learn that babies can't have all types of cheese until um, they are about the age of one. Um, I knew that cheese was, um, like I knew that she couldn't have cheese like right off the bat as she was eating solids. Um, and then when she hit about nine months, that's really, yeah. That's when we started to give her um, some cheese. And so we gave her like cottage cheese, goat cheese, cheddar cheese. Uh, but her main uh, favorite was always mozzarella and uh, cottage cheese. And then I was following a mom and she shared some insight on there about how they're, um, <laughs> Really? It's always going on. Tell me some more. She is trying to figure out how to jailbreak out of that when she's in it. Mm -mm, I do not approve. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't know where I was at. Mozzarella cheese. It's okay for babies to have it under the age of one. <laughs> okay. Um, and then here I have uh, green onions and um, I chopped them up. Uh, sometimes I even do parsley uh, as well, and then I have red um, red onions that I um, chopped up really fine. Okay, so we're gonna put these together, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I put everything in here. I meshed it all up. I mean, I got. It. I was trying to be cute with the spatula. <laughs> But I was not gonna get the job done. And usually when this is what I do, I just mesh it all with my hands. Um, and then I do have some olive oil going. So I'm gonna give it another two minutes and it'll be warmed up and ready to go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these into um, little like patty shapes and I'm gonna throw them in there. And then I'll show you guys um, what that's gonna look like. So I have them in little patties here. Um, in some olive oil, I have it to um, medium, uh, and I'm probably gonna let um, let them cook on this side for like seven minutes, and then I'll flip them onto the other side um, when I think they are ready, and then I'll show you guys what the end result looks like. 
Here's the end result, guys. They came out pretty nice. They do hold their form pretty nice too. And if you did want to make them bigger, um, I would say go thinner, but make sure that you pack them in nice, uh, nicely because um, there's just a lot of loose ingredients in there and it can make it really easy for them to fall apart. So um, I make them pretty small because I make them just like a serving size for Maya, but if you, as an adult, would like to have one of these, and they are very delicious, um, so you can always make them bigger too. I will say they do uh, hold their form much better when they are smaller though. So, but yeah, uh, so we are gonna start working on these bad boys now for breakfast. All right guys, now we're moving on to our second um, cauliflower pancake recipe. And like I said, it is just two ingredients, two eggs, and I have half of a cauliflower head here. Um, and it's the same seasoning that I had with the um, other recipe. It's got oregano, uh, pink uh, salt, and a little bit of black pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these and get it going. Um, on the pan there and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. I cracked the two eggs into the cauliflower and then I whisked it all together. It's mixed pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them into the pan. With this recipe you can actually make them a lot um, bigger because it does not have all the loose ingredients like the onions and the green onions. Um, even when you do mash up the sweet potatoes, I mean, it's still like, it does kind of weigh in there, um, weigh heavily in there, so that it makes it easier for it to all separate. But I mean, that's a pretty good size. <laughs> My mother-in-law actually taught me how to make these and um, we are in love with it. All right, guys, this is it. Tell me those don't look like actual pancakes. Yeah, you can still see the smoke come off of them. Yeah. I, and I have to tell you that um, if you do find that the smaller ones don't hold their form well, you may just need to add an extra egg. Um, that's really all it takes sometimes. But for both ingredients, everything was perfect. Yeah! What else? You are a great assistant today, Maya. Thank you for all your help. Say bye. Bye. No. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back with my assistant. Um, as you can see, it was super easy to make both of those pancakes. <laughs> I love you too, bunny. <laughs> I think she's due for a nap. Um, but yeah, so they were both very easy. The second recipe with just the egg and a cauliflower is super convenient for anybody who's on the go. Um, you can even make uh, both of them in advance and put it in a freezer. It's good in a freezer, I would say, I only do up to a week. Uh, it might even be good longer than that. And then um, if you're gonna put it in a fridge, it's good up to three days. So I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you get creative with them. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And Maya's gonna say bye bye. Come on, Maya. Say bye bye. Bye. You're gonna look over here. Who's that? Bye. Come on. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Mama say you guys. I love you all. I love my girl.